Think about your favorite scene in media. What do you remember the most? Is it the writing? The acting? The special effects? For me, it was the way the scene made me feel. It's the way the scene stayed with me long after the credits have rolled. Let's watch one of my favorite scenes in media, That Ain't You, from the 2006 film Rocky Balboa, written, directed, and starring Sylvester Stallone. So you nervous about the fight? They're scared to death. You don't look scared? Well, you ain't supposed to. Then you don't have to do it. Yeah, well, I think I do. Y you know, living with you, it hasn't been easy. People see me, but they think of you. Now with all this going on, this is gonna be worse than ever. It don't have to be. No, sure it does. Why, you got a lot going on, kid. Oh, what, my last name? That's the reason I got a decent job. That's the reason why people deal with me in the first place. Now I start to get a little ahead. I start to get a little something for myself, and this happens. Now I'm asking you as a favor not to go through with this, okay? This is only gonna end up bad for you, and it's gonna end up bad for me. You think I'm hurting you? Yeah, in a way you are. That's the last thing I ever wanted to do. I know that's not what you want to do, but that's just the way that it is. Don't you care what people think? Doesn't it bother you that, that people are making you out to be a joke and that I'm gonna be included in that? Do you think that's right? Do you? You ain't gonna believe this. But you used to fit right here. I'd hold you up and say to your mother, this kid's gonna be the best kid in the world. This kid's gonna be somebody better than anybody ever knew. And you grew up good and wonderful. It was great just watching every day. It was like a privilege. Then the time come for you to be your own man and take on the world, and you did. But somewhere along the line, you changed. You stopped being you. You let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good. And when things got hard, you started looking for something to blame, like a big shadow. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, now go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you wanna be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. I'm always gonna love you no matter what. No matter what happens. You're my son, you're my blood. You're the best thing in my life. But until you start believing in yourself, you ain't gonna have a life. Don't forget to visit your mother. In this scene, we see a father who wants to relive his past glory. He has lost his wife, Adrian, and he is adrift in the stage of his life. Adrian was Rocky's anchor and safe harbor from the world. Robert Balboa Jr., played by Milo Ventimiglia, is a son who has lived in his father's shadow. Someone who has profited intentionally or unintentionally from his father's name. He cannot see a future for himself because his worth is linked to being the son of the great Rocky Balboa. What is great about this scene is that when Robert is yelling and antagonizing his father, pleading with him to back down from this circus of a life he has been placed in, Rocky does not respond to Robert in an angry tone. He starts his conversation in a gentle, reminiscent tone, remembering how small and full of hope and life his son used to be. Rocky is scared, not only of his upcoming fight with Mason the Lion Dixon, he is scared of what the outcome will be if he does not fight. If he withholds his dreams and ambitions. 
this is Rocky's last chance to prove to himself and the world he still has some fight left. Rocky can see that despite the advantages his son has had in growing up, Robert has become beaten down and broken by life. He is afraid of what others will think of him if his father loses or potentially dies in the ring. This scene hits differently because of its writing, because of the actors, because Stallone gave a damn about the Rocky character and his flaws as a father and a man and highlighted them throughout the entire series. Stallone has always been an actor I admired. I admire Stallone's dedication, work ethic, integrity, and craftsmanship as a writer, director, and producer. Stallone is a renaissance man who has given the world so much. Stallone is a man who has gone through personal struggles and tragedies and has persevered. I love all of the Rocky movies. They teach you about perseverance, how to move forward, and how to know your worth. It's a testament to Stallone as a brilliant writer, director, and actor. This scene is great because Sylvester Stallone has always shown it's not how many times you get hit, it's how many times you can take a hit and keep moving forward. If you like what I had to say, feel free to like, share, subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Cabs out.